Is that all right? Is, is that enough? Huh? I may be sick. I may be sick. God bless all of you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Sister Shelley. Good evening. Thank God. Good evening. Good evening, Sister Kelly. God bless you. Good Kelly. Good evening. Good evening. God bless all of you. So glad to have you tonight. Thank you for joining me. Praise God, Sister Pat. God bless you tonight. Good evening. Praise God, Aisha. Welcome. Good night. Jerome, welcome tonight. Deborah Emick, welcome. God bless you. Praise God for all of you tonight. We're grateful to the Lord for all of you tonight. Praise God. We're grateful for you tonight. Well, I've got a testimony. God bless you, Sister Sharon. God bless you tonight. I'm share with you today. Jacksonville, Florida, come on. I've been through the fire. God bless you tonight. But Welcome. I'm still strong. God bless you tonight. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Be grateful for you. Thank God for you. But I'm still holding on. Appreciate yeah. you tonight. God bless all of you. And if words could have killed me, well, it's a wonderful Wednesday. Come on in. Week 41. Come on. But God had another plan for me. Please, God. Thank God for you tonight. Oh, yeah. Honored to have you tonight. Come on in. Maria Vicente, welcome. God, God bless you tonight. Alone. Martinez family, welcome tonight. Thank Deborah Queen, welcome. God bless you tonight. Come Let on in. Say this, say, I've had my share of Come on in. Come on in. But I'm still strong. So glad to have you tonight. Come on in. Been through a lot of hurt, y'all. But I'm still holding on. Made it to the middle of the week. Come on, Wednesday night. All the lies that were told on me. So grateful to have you. I belong gone. Yes, God. But God had another plan for my life. And, yes. I, and I'm still strong. Oh, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, praise him tonight. Deacon Matthews, come on in. God gave me what I need. God gave me what I to make it through, yeah. Let me tell you something. The trouble I've seen. Come on in, come well, on in, everybody. Come on in. Oh, has been God's my bless you, Sister Kathleen. Bless you tonight. Glad to have you. I've been so discouraged sometimes. Yes, God. I'm grateful to the Lord. I feel like giving up. Come on in. There was something on the inside. Come on in. Kept telling us to keep holding on. Hold on. Everything is gonna be alright. Yes. After the storm is gone. Oh, I've been through the fire. I receive it tonight. I receive it. I receive those hugs. Thank you so much. Appreciate it tonight. Bless you. I receive it. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you, Sister Connor. God bless you tonight. So glad to have you. Thank God. Welcome back. God bless you tonight. Appreciate you. Pray for you and your family. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Bless you, Sister Sherry. Bless you tonight. Praise God. We are better together. Come on. You're still strong after all you've been through. Come on. You're still holding on. It's not easy, but you're still holding on. Come on, Gloria Smith. Come on. Yeah, so glad to have you on tonight. Thank you for joining Bishop tonight. So glad to have you tonight. Come on in. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend, share tonight. Sean, you're welcome. Praise God, so glad to have you. Welcome, family. Welcome, family. We're better together. Come on. Be grateful moment. Bishop Barry, come on. So honored to have you. Precious saints of God, come on. We're better together than separated. That's right, Sister Kelly. Yes, Lord. Yeah. We're still holding on. Despite what we've been through. 
so you strong. Yeah, we are better together. Don't you dare give up down the hawkers. Come on. Praise God. Bless you. As a matter of fact. You be queen. Bless you tonight. Bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Praise God. It's so honored to have you. Keep on thanking Him. After all you've been through, God's been real kind to you. Come on. So glad to have you tonight. Praise God. Amen. We are on Be Grateful Moment. Praise God. We're moving on. Praise God. Vanessa Robinson, welcome tonight. Praise God. Thank God for all of you. Amen. Joining me tonight, praise God, on this wonderful Wednesday, middle of the week. Middle of the week. Made it. God bless you, Mother Callis. Lord, we're praying for your health, praying for your procedure. Praise God, the Lord will bless you real good. He's going to bring you out. Total healing along to you. Yes. Praise God. We're getting prepared, saints. HGT family, be grateful, moment family. God chase your family. Come on. There's an army rising up. Yeah, breaks. Break every chain. It's gonna break every chain. Break every chain. Chains of sickness. Break every chains of darkness. Chain. Chains of headaches. Woo. Chains of issues. Break every chain. It's gonna break have to break it. Chain. Chains break of poverty. Chain. Family problems. It's gonna break it. There is power. There's power. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Receive it tonight. There's power. Come on, you declare it. There is power. I dare you to call that name. There's power in the name of Jesus. We know where it is to break every It breaks chain. every chain. Break call that name out. Break. Push up those hearts. Share it tonight. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. It breaks every chain. Tear down every shackle. Come on, praise God. All over the country. Come on. Come on in. That's it, daughter. Come on. There's power. There is power in Come on, Gloria the name Smith. Of Jesus. The wonderful name of Jesus, I dare you to there is power share it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Come on, share it tonight. So Start a watch party. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Let's share it tonight. Come on. Come on, Mama. Let me share it tonight. Let's share this gospel together. The good news. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. Let's share it tonight. Let's help me share it. Jesus died so we can share it. Let's share it. There's an army rising up. Come on, HGT. Come on, be grateful, moment family. Come on. Come on, God chase your family. There's an army rising up. Come on. It has to break every chain of poverty. Chains of sickness. Chains of cancer. Come on. Come on. Chain. Chains of issues, bipolar. He's gonna break every chain. Come on, addiction. Come on, break it up. Hallelujah. God is able to do it. He can break every chain, Callan. He can heal your body. Come on. Come on, my beloved. Johnson, welcome. God bless you tonight. Praise God. Appreciate you, man. Praying for you and Kia. Praying for the entire family. I hear. Come on, Jerome. The chains are falling off. Praise God. He's breaking the back of poverty. He's healing your body right now. If there's a way, there's a will, there's a way. Push up those hearts and share tonight. Come on, share. Start a watch party. Come on, those who are on YouTube, come on, you can subscribe to YouTube, you subscribe, it. we're live on YouTube, come on, be grateful moment, come on, those please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to YouTube, we're live, and we're live on Facebook, come on, come on, we have the change falling, Instagram, come on, come on, let's go, Periscope, let's go, we have the change falling, we trying to get the word out, praise God, and we will. The chains are falling off right now. The chains are being broken. Praise God. 
Father God, we thank you for your beautiful saints. We thank you for what you're doing in the midst of us, God. We thank you for this wonderful Wednesday. Thank you for thy, these thy great people, God. Continue to strengthen us. Help us to do your will. Don't let us give up, God. Don't let us quit. Don't let us throw the towel. In Jesus' name. <coughs> Old school tonight. A little old or no new. Tell me Mixing it up for you tonight. Come on. Got a little something for everybody tonight. A little something for everybody tonight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Praise him. These songs will get you through your rough time, Donna. Come on. Come on, let's praise him. This got big mama through. This got big mama through. Come on. This got papa through. Yeah, what happened? Big Will, God bless you. So glad to have you. Come on, HGT family. Come on, be grateful for the family. But don't you know so glad to have you tonight. Come on. Prayer changes things. My God, come on, come on. Come on in prayer, man. Come on in the love. Come on, Vanessa Robinson. Come on. Don't wait. Don't you dare put it off another, another day. Don't you wait. Come on in. No way too late. Bless your mother, Cobo. Appreciate you. Love you. Appreciate you. Need you. Thank God for your life. Faithful woman of God. No way too late before you pray. Don't let time slip by and get closer to God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Push it up. Yeah, that's down home. Come on. That's down home. Come on. The last song before we go into the lesson. Come on. Don't wait till they roll you down. Oh my God. Bless you, William. Bless you, Jesus' name. Down there. Pray for you. Don't wait too late. Well, it's too late. Come on. Bless you, sir. Don't wait too late. Come on. Don't let it be too when late. Come on, Carla Fleming. Don't wait. Come on. It's too late. Need you to pray. Come on. Heart don't stop beating. It's too late. Heart don't stop beating. Too late. Come on in now. While you have time, come on, come on. It's too late. I wish y'all would push up some hearts and give God glory. Don't, come let on. It. It's too late. Don't let it be too late. Don't let it. Don't let it's it. Too late. Ah, yeah. Don't let it. Don't let it be said. It's too late. Where my family at tonight? Come on. Are y'all here with us? Come on. Ah, yeah. Ah, so no, no, no. Out of time. 
Come on, lift up those hearts and praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't let it be too late before you pray. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you tonight. We're just so honored to have you. Praise God. And just in case nobody told you today, praise God, that you're beautiful. Praise God. Amen. You're loved. You're needed. Praise God. Amen. You're alive for a reason. God kept you alive for a reason. Praise God. You're getting stronger because you're stronger than you think. Praise God. If God brought you through that, you can get through this. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm just glad that you're alive tonight. I'm glad that God, amen, giving you the strength that you can't give up. Don't let it be too late. This is Bishop E.M. Barron, amen, of the Higher Ground Temple, Church of God in Christ, located at 203 Vine Street. That's in North Camden, 08102. Praise God. If you're ever in that area, please stop by Holy Ghost Headquarters. Praise God. Yes, we are open. Amen. I had about 10 people asking, are y'all open back up? Yes, we open. 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, one hour, our express church. One hour, our express church. And then, praise God, at 1030, our morning glory service. Praise God. And this week, we'll be doing our Grand March Sunday, praise God, at 4 o'clock. None other than the Honorable Bishop James Darrell Robinson in the Yesha Ministry from South Philadelphia will be our special guest. Praise God. We're looking forward to a great time and a high time in the Lord this Sunday. Praise God. Amen. It's, amen. Our 18th year pastoral anniversary. Please join us. Praise God. I guarantee you, praise God, you'll be blessed. Praise God for a miracle from on high. Praise God. We thank God for all of you. We appreciate all of our pastors and elders and ministers. Praise God. Our deacon and deaconess, evangelists and missionaries. Praise God to our pastoral care. Amen. Team. Praise God. Bless all of you. Our assistant pastor. We just thank God for all of you joining us tonight. Praise God. We honor you in the spirit of thanksgiving, in the spirit of giving God praise. Praise God. You are important to the kingdom. Last night we were talking about praise God. Amen. Those who are joining us, amen, from all over the country, praise God, we were getting calls today from Michigan, amen, praise God, Indiana, praise God, amen, North Carolina, praise God, Greensboro, praise God, Raleigh, Durham, Greenville, praise God, South Carolina, Charleston, uh, Orlando, Florida, Tampa, praise God, amen, Detroit, Michigan, we're just so grateful that this broadcast is going, amen, and reaching people, praise God, that we can't actually touch, but the word of God can touch you. Can you say, amen, a place at the table. We started that last night, this is part two, a place at the at the table, a place at the table. Praise God. Last night we went kind of in depth concerning, amen, a place at the table. Praise God, amen. And Lord knows, praise God, I want a place at the table. Amen. Wherever Jesus is, that's where I want to be. What about you? Praise God. You need to share this tonight. Amen. Share it. Praise God. Start a watch party. Amen. A place at the table. So honored to have you. Praise God. Looking at 2 Peter 3 and 9. 2 Peter 3 and 9. The Lord, amen, is not slow to fulfill his promise. As some count slowness. He's not slow, but he's patient towards you and me. The Lord is patient towards you and me. Not wishing that any should perish, any should, amen, fall out, any should faint, any should quit the race. But, amen, but you should, amen, be able to reach, amen, with repentance. Praise God. Somebody shout, God, give me a place at the table. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We're looking forward, amen, to, amen, to part two tonight. Praise God. We thank God. Second Peter says, I mean, how can you control, amen, I mean, how you love others? Praise God. Well, praise God. You keep loving them even if they don't love you back. Praise God. We told you that last night. Praise God. And the table, praise God. So tonight we're going to part two. The table, the oil, and God's fillness. Come on. Talk back to me tonight. The table, the oil, and God's faithfulness. The table, the oil and God's faithfulness. Praise God. Psalms 23 and 5. Praise God. Amen. You prepare a table. Catch this tonight. Amen. Psalms, praise God. Amen. 23 and 5. You prepare a table, a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. You anointed my head with oil. Tonight we're talking about, last time we said a place at the table. Tonight we're going to step further, praise God. We're going down a road a little piece, praise God. The table, the oil, and God's faithfulness. Praise God. You prepare a table before me in the presence, right in the very presence, in the presence of my enemy. And you anointed my head with oil right in front of my enemies. Somebody shout, yes, God, help me, Holy Ghost. Praise God. Amen. All through the studies of Psalms, Psalm 23, we have seen how the Lord has been a good shepherd. We have seen how Kala, he's been a protector. He's been our daily provider. Uh, he's given us peace and even given us rest. He's even been our guide. Somebody shout, yes, God. Amen. Psalms 23 and 5, amen, the table, the oil, and God's faithfulness. Last night, 
a place at the table. Tonight, praise God, you're at the table, but you need oil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You need oil so God can supply you with and make, and make you more faithful and make me more faithful for his glory. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Psalms 23, praise God. It says, praise God. Amen. The shepherd, he talks about he's our protector. He's our provider. He's our peace. He's our rest. He's our guide through every circumstance. Somebody shout glory. Amen. Praise God. We know about God's faithfulness that, amen, he leads us through the dark valleys. He leads us through the shadow of death. Talk back to me, the dark shadows. Has he ever led anybody through the dark shadows, amen, to the dark valleys? I mean, I'm one of them. Praise God. Somebody shout, yes, God. Push up some hearts and let me know you're there. Praise God. Share this tonight. Share, 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 share. Praise God. He says, praise God, amen. God's faithfulness that he leads us, amen, praise God. And God is more faithful than we are. Somebody shout, yes, God. He is more faithful than we are. Amen. His faithfulness. Amen. The table, the oil, and God's faithfulness. Somebody shout, amen, a place at the table. God, help me tonight, Holy Ghost. Help me get through this tonight, praise God. He leads us through the dark valleys while watching over us with his rod and his staff. There's a reason why the shepherd has been given a staff. Amen. Praise God. His rod. And his staff, preachers, watches over us. All oh, that is amazing enough to prompt us to give him glory and to give him praise. Praise God, amen. Praise God. The table, the oil, and God's faithfulness. Somebody shout, yes, God, a place at the table. Somebody talk to you back to me if you can tonight. Can you say amen? Praise God. While watching over us, look what he does. He's our rod, Ida, and our staff. Praise God. It is amazing. I mean, he prompts us. He motivates us. He stimulates us, elders, praise God, and pastors to praise him in the midst of God bless your mom and dad. Welcome tonight. Praise God. Amen. We're in Psalms 23 and 5. My parents just came home from Charleston. God bless them. May they live long and prosper while they're living. Praise God. In Jesus' name. Praise God. All that is amazing enough to prompt us to praise God in the midst of the storm and praise Him when there's no storm around. Will you praise God in the midst? Or will you praise God waiting for a storm to come? And that's when you give Him a sincere praise. No, praise God. You have to worship while you wait. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Praise God. Amen. His rod and his staff. Amen. It's amazing. Praise God. And he makes us, amen, amen, praise God. He give us, amen, praise him. And we may wonder what happens after, amen, we pass through the valley. That's a good question. What happens to us after we get through the valley? What does the Lord do then? Well, thankfully, the Lord is not content just for getting us through the valley. I want somebody to say amen right there. The Lord is not just comfortable for getting us through the valley. He's not content. Praise God. Amen. And he won't just leave you in the valley. His job is to lead us out of the valley. Somebody shout, yes, God. And you hear what I'm saying to you tonight? Amen. He's preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Somebody shout, yes, God. Don't worry about that enemy so much. Don't give that enemy too much time. Don't give that enemy too much of your effort because it'll drain you. Amen. He prepares a table in the presence of Right in the presence of, right in front. He's going to bless you and me right in front of your enemies. There's an uncommon blessing coming from an uncommon place. And he's going to bless you, praise God, uncommonly. Praise God, you hear what I'm saying to you? Right, praise God, and smack dab in front of those who's been ridiculing you, who's been running you down. You ought to thank God that you got a place at the table. Are you hearing me tonight? I mean, somebody shout, I got a place at the table. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you tonight? Praise God. I'm so excited in my sanctified soul that, praise God, that he's preparing a table before me. And he's blessing me right in front of my enemies, right in front of the naysayers. He's blessing me. And he's also blessing you. Because anything that's attached to me, you shall be blessed. Somebody shout, yes, God. Amen. If you're attached to me, you shall be blessed. Praise God. Anything you do, praise God, to help the man servant and the woman servant, praise God, you shall be blessed. I decree it so. I speak it so. Praise God, you need to receive it tonight. Praise God. Don't delay. Praise God. Don't deny it. You receive it. Pray to lift up your hands and receive it tonight. And somebody shout, praise God, I have a place at the table. Somebody shout, amen. You have a place at the table. Don't worry about how they ridicule you, how they do character assassination, how they try to run you down and say you're never going to amount to nothing. The devil is a liar. You have a place 
at the table. And he's going to prepare a place for you in the presence. Oh, my God. He's going to prepare. Amen. I wish I had some help tonight. I feel pretty good. Amen. He's going to prepare a table for you right before in the presence of your enemies. Somebody say amen there tonight. Praise God. As we move on, praise God. He says that thankfully God will not just leave you alone. He will not leave you. Praise God. Amen. He will not leave you. Amen. Without no help. Praise God. Amen. It's not by chance. You will look at Psalms 23 and verse 5 through verse 8. That's Psalms 23. Verse 5 through verse 8, praise God, that God does more, amen, amen, blessing us, amen, praise God, through his word, and he's the one that brings us out of trouble. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. He's the one that prepares the table before us in the presence of our enemies. How many of you tonight know that God's getting ready to bless you right in front of your enemies? All who thought that you wouldn't make it, you wouldn't make it through the COVID, you wouldn't make it through the pandemic. They thought you had been throwing a towel. Matter of fact, they probably thought you'd been dead by now. But here you are, you're alive, you're well, and you're blessed, and you're highly favored by God. They had thrown you away. They said all kind of man of evil on them because they can use you as their personal slave. So now, praise God, they're upset at you, praise God. And that's how it normally works, praise God. When somebody can't use you and abuse you, they'll lie on you. Somebody talk back to me if you can. They can't, praise God, they can't misuse you. They can't corrupt you. They may, praise God, I'm talking to you, praise God, there's a place prepared at the table for you. Praise God, grab your stuff and sit down. And we can, and there's a plate out. Praise, get, your, get your forks in your life. Everything's in place. Your dinner plate, your salad plate. It's, get, there's a place at the table for you. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. He's prepared a table before you, praise God. Remember now, this is a holy table. This is not the table with, praise God, at I mean, Hibachi Grill. This is not the table at Capitol Grill. This is not the table at, man, praise God, at Grand Lox. This is not the table at Corinth. This is the table, praise God. Come park by me. This is a holy table. And he said, be holy, for I am holy. You can't sit at this table unless you want to be holy. There are some prerequisites that you must, in order to get a place at this table. Amen. He said, be holy, for I am holy. This is not an ordinary meal. This is not an ordinary dinner, dinner setting. Amen. Are you hear what I'm saying to you tonight? Amen. He said, you have to go after the thing. This is a holy table. Somebody shout a place at the holy table. This is not the table. Pray, talk back to me. This is not Longhorns. This is not Olive Garden. This is not River Winds. Pray, talk back to me if you can. This is not Relish. Praise God. Amen. Come on, talk back to me. Pray, God. This is a holy table table. Somebody shout holy table. Do you have a seat at the holy table? Praise God. We go into every other table, but that's not a holy. You have to maybe praise God. If you are holy, praise God. He said, be holy. This is the Lord said, be holy for I am holy. He's preparing a table. He's remembering. Praise God. Amen. He's remembering, praise God, amen, and I got to get ready to get out of here, Sharon. He's remembering, praise God, amen, as I, and I went back down memory lane this morning. Mama, you there. Daddy, you all tonight. I went back down memory lane. Our grandmama Rosa and grandmama Bertha. Those are my two grandmothers that went on to glory. Praise God, amen, amen, praise God, amen. Uh, remembering visiting grandmother house, amen, with my family. I was about eight, and, uh, between eight and ten years old for Thanksgiving. We all get together, praise God. That day was a momentous day because we all the family would get together. I would meet cousins that I didn't know. Talk back to me if you can. I would meet cousins. You know how you, you meet doing Thanksgiving and Christmas. You meet family members that you don't know like family reunion. You don't know all your cousins. You don't know all your family members. Somebody said, I want a place at the table. It's a holy table. Y'all ain't talking back to me. And I went back down memory lane today, Minister Jerry and Elder Snippet. I went down back memory lane, my mother and father on. And praise I did not know most of my cousins. They didn't know me. They heard about me, but they didn't know me. Everyone, praise God, amen, are there. They're curious who you are. Praise God, amen. Amen. I never heard of you, but and here what comes out at, at that table. I never I never heard of you before. Are you my cousin? Are you my first or my second cousin? Somebody shot the holy table. Big mama's there, praise God. Amen. Praise God. They're cooking, they're getting prepared now, praise God. And, and but they're all were crammed in. <clears throat> all the people got crammed into that one house. Now they said we can't do that now because of COVID. Praise God. We all got there. It was a great day, a day of fun, a day of food, a day of football, a day of parades, a day of storytelling. 
talk back to me. A wonderful feast. Matter of fact, a couple of years we went down there to Charleston, praise God, and we met at the church. Amen. About 60 of us, praise God. Amen. We flew down there. Amen. One of the most beautiful Thanksgiving I've ever had in my life. Somebody talk back to me if you can. All my cousins and people I have not seen in 30, 40 years. Amen. I had... Uh, there were children there. I, they wasn't even around when I was coming up as a teenager. Now they're 20 and 25. Praise God. I'm 60 now. Praise God. So praise God. I'm like one of the older cousins in the family. Somebody talk back to me if you can. It was a day of fun. The men were watching football with the boys. The boys were watching football. Some of the boys were playing, praise God. I mean, some of the teenagers and the older ones, they were playing pool and playing cards. Praise God. The women were in the packed in the kitchen, going over different recipes. Somebody shot at the table. Y'all ain't talking about to me. I mean, I mean, I'm talking about the table, a setting. A family environment at the table. I'm going somewhere. Stay right there, if you will. Praise God, amen. And they're all packed in the kitchen. The women are talking recipes. Amen. Everybody's around. Praise God. The cooks are looking at certain things. Then we'll get some of the, the bigger uh, cousins. Amen. And they will get the big, large tables and set them up in the house to make room for everybody to have a, a place at the table. God help me tonight, Jesus. Pray. They'll get both two large tables, Sister Kelly. Two large tables, Sister Pat. Two large tables. Amen. You can sit with uh, 10 people each. Praise God. They get two, three large tables. They set it up, Sister. Amen. Talk back to me. Praise God. And they'll set it up, Prince, for all the people that have help. And the aunts, the aunts, they will come out. Hallelujah. They will come out. And they will start setting the table up for us. Putting out special plates, special setting. Special silverware, napkins and salad bowls and glasses. And they put, amen, the condiments out, the butter, the salt, the pepper, amen, the cream, the gravy, the ketchup for the kids. Talk back to me if you can. And they end up being a beautiful time setting the table. I came by tonight to ask you, praise God, amen, amen, when are you going to get prepared to set the table up for the Lord Jesus Christ? Because he's soon to come. He's going to come visit you and my house. Will you have a place prepared for him to come to? This is sort of what the Lord is talking about when he does in verse 5. That he said, I'll prepare a beautiful table before you. And I'll prepare a beautiful table for us. Instead of praise God, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People have been trying to stop you from getting to the table. He said, I'm going to escort you to the table of holiness. He's going to escort us to the table of holiness, a place at the table. I will prepare a table before you in the presence, the very presence. I'm going to bless you right in front, right in front of your enemy's face. Those you thought would not make it. Those thought you would be still here. They thought you'd been in the cemetery by now, five years. You are a survivor. You're an overcomer. You've been through worse things than this. God is on your side. He said, tell them tonight, I am preparing a table <laughs> for them in the, right in the front of their enemy's face. You're going to have the last laugh. They laugh earlier. You're going to have the last laugh. But this is a holy table. This table is different from any other table you've ever sat at. This is a holy table. A sanctified table. An anointed table. A loving table. A blessed table. A healing table. A joy table. A praising table. We set up in our fellowship hall and I see how we segregate and we sit with different ones. He said, let me tell you, praise God. He said, I'm getting ready to amen, flip the script on HGT. It's going to be a table that everybody will sit down and they will enjoy, amen, what they call agape. I mean, the love of Jesus and everybody will eat together, amen, the love of Jesus. Not separate silos and separate, amen, people sitting together and I'm going to sit with my family. No, we're all God's family. A holy table. The setting is being set up right now. God's getting ready to flip the strip right now. I'm telling you, my beloved, he's getting ready to do something spectacular. He's getting ready to turn those who had no faith into water walkers. Are you hear what I'm saying to you? He's getting ready to shift and flip the strip that those you will come stronger and wiser than you've ever been in your life. 
He said, I will prepare a table for you, praise God, a beautiful table. Instead of you sitting in the back, I'm going to call you to the front. And tell me, put, have you eat at the card table, you're going to have a room at the holy table. Good God from Zion. Instead of having you eat at the card table and put out a little tray and go in the room by yourself, though you're going to be forced. God is going to force us, you and me, to fellowship with those you never fellowship with before. God help me right there. Hallelujah. God's going to force you and I to fellowship with people that you've never fellowship with before because God's breaking down those chains and walls that we put up. That you don't want anybody to get into. This is good tonight, Bishop. Amen. He said, no, no, I'm going to prepare a table for you. And the God bless you to the nation. We're praying for you, sweetheart. Amen. We, we, he's got, I'm going to put, he said, I'm going to put, amen, bless you. Ready to smack dab with the front eye of your enemies. Those who think that you would not be a survivor. Those who thought that you would be dead by now. Those who thought that the car wreck would kill you. Those who thought that you would already OD by now, I ain't got no help. Those who thought that in that car accident, Jerome, that the devil trying to take you out of here. But you're still here. Somebody shout, yes, God. <clears throat> Somebody shout, I'm still here. I got to get ready to get out of here tonight, but I want to tell you, praise God, he is preparing. I like how it sounds. And I know what it means. He said, I'm preparing a table. My God, I'm preparing a table for you. Remember that this is an exciting time. I mean, we got cousins we never met. We got family members we don't know. This is Thanksgiving time, and we're all together. Praise God, but this type of setting is a holy table. Help me, Holy Ghost. It's a holy table that we can get together. Somebody shout, I'm still here. Thank you, Mother Coble. This is a holy table that we can come together. Praise God, amen. And instead of being jealous at the table, instead of being envy at the table, instead of being angry at the table, because anger is a killer. Instead of being having any issues at the table, you can come to the table, sit down, and enjoy the beauty of holiness with family and friends can sit at the table. And your enemies and your adversaries will not know what to do with you. You have a seat at the table. Not an ordinary table. A holy table. A sanctified table. A loving table. A healing table. A strengthening table. Bringing families back together at the table. Told you that last Friday. It's time to bring your family back to the church. Bring your family back to God. Don't wait for a funeral. Don't wait for a wedding. Don't wait for uh, when somebody get put in intensive care and you can't visit them. Bring your family back to God immediately. Get in a hurry. The old folks used to tell us, get in a hurry and do it right now. We'll come back tomorrow night. Still dealing with this table. Last night, a place at the table. Tonight, the table, the oil, and God's faithfulness. Tomorrow night, we're going to talk about that oil. <laughs> and the faithfulness. I'm so excited about Sanctified Soul. I'm telling you, praise God, this series is going to help you. You need to tell a neighbor, tell a friend that my pastor is talking about a man, a place at the table. He said, what table are you talking about? The card table? No. Uh, <laughs> the pea knuckle table? No. The poker table? No. The drinking table? No. The sex table? No. The holy table. The holy table. The holy table. It's time to call your children's name out and your grandchildren. And your great grands, so they won't have to go to hell. Two places start with an H, you can't miss both of them heaven or hell. You don't hear messages like this no more. We just keep telling you about grace and grace and get a Cadillac and get a car. No, no, no. You need to know, praise God, it is time. I am Asha. Glory to God. He said, I will prepare a table for you in the presence 
Now watch this. You got to be careful now in the presence. So you have to get in God's presence before you get to the presence of your enemy. Otherwise, you won't be protected. He said he will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemy. But so, but you have to get provoke God and get in front of in God's presence first. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you tonight? This is sound teaching. Now, if you get before God and get in his presence, then he'll bless you. Amen. Praise God in front of your enemy. Somebody shout, there's room at the table. Are uh, you hear what I'm saying? This is not even any ordinary table. This is man, a holy table. Praise God. You can't say much, you praise God. If you can't love your neighbor, praise God, amen, you can't love God. If you can't get along with folks in the same church you go to, there's enough of this anger stuff, this foolishness, amen, this, and this berating. It's enough. Man, God is love. Elder Riles preached that Sunday. Praise God, amen. We have enough people who are just angry for no reason. Amen. You've been angry all your life. Where's that gotten you? And nobody has time to be around people that are angry and mischievous. There's room at the table for you. And this is a holy table. Remember? Remember? All the cousins you don't know. It's Thanksgiving time. The ladies got the recipe. Cousins you never met before. Praise God. But you're there. They bring out the big tables. And everybody's all together. Bless your prophet. And everybody all together. You don't know them. They don't know you. Some from North Carolina. Some from California. Some from Nebraska. Some from Trenton. Some from, praise God, Atlantic City. But you all get together. And big mama, praise God, gets up. And granddaddy gets up. And he prays over the food. He's now turning from not just an ordinary dinner. He turned down, come and dine at the master's table. Come and dine. I am a Sunday. Glory to God. He's turned it down to a place where now we can come. We're fellowshipping together. We're enjoying each other's company in the beauty of holiness. Be holy, for I am holy. There ain't nothing wrong with being sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. And that would burn a fire. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good life. Praise God. I am a shout. That, that's a good life to live. Praise God. A place at the table. Last night, tonight, the table, the oil, and God's faithfulness. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Then you anointed my head. I am with oil. How many of you want some oil to pour out on you? Can anybody see any oil in your life? The oil represents the anointing. Is any oil on your life? Does your life represent the oil, the fresh anointing? Ah, yeah, the ruah, the breath of God. It's time. Father, I thank you for this opportunity tonight. I appreciate you tonight, God, so much. Thank you for allowing me to 41 weeks. Night number three. I don't dare take it for granted. It is you that give us these messages, God. It is you that supply us with this word. You say our heart is the ground. The word is the seed. The seed must go into the ground for the amen for it to be germinated. Praise God that we can be better stewards. Amen. Be better saints. Be better disciples. Amen. Be better. Amen. Praise God. Those praises for you. Worshippers for you. We thank you tonight, God, for this teaching. Bless your people. Every person under the sound of my voice tonight. Bless them in a special way. Bless their children and their children's children. I come against every device. I come against alcoholism. I come against, amen, amen, addiction. I come against, amen, being a street walker. I, 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 glory. I mean, I, I pray that God will break that spirit off of you. Jesus is a habit breaker. Uh, would you trust him tonight? He is a habit breaker. He can turn anybody around. Praise God. If he turned me around, he can turn you around. He's in the turnaround business. It all boils down to this. How bad do you want him? How bad do you want Jesus? That's what it boils down to. Nothing else. How bad do you want Jesus? Do you want him more than anything else? I am so sanctified. Yeah. Madly in love with Jesus. Madly. Head over heels in love with Jesus. And he's crazy about me. How bad do you want him? I thank you for joining me tonight. This has been Bishop Barron. Praise God tonight on Be Grateful Moment. Week 41, week 41. If this lesson tonight has helped you in any way, in any way, would you be a blessing tonight and sow a $10 seed tonight? If this message has touched you and has helped you to get a better understanding that you have a seat at this holy table.
pray, God, and did this message help you tonight? That you say, you know what? I need, I want some of that oil on me, that fresh anointing. I need some things to change in my life. Would you sow that seed tonight? Would you sow it? Amen. Would you be so kind and trust? Can you trust God with $10? My God. And he'll trust you with the rest of us. Come on. Can you trust God with $10? That's a no-brainer. Yes, you can. Praise God. A place at the table. Praise God. He prepared a table for me in the presence. and the very presence of my enemy. They thought I was done. They counted me out. They said, I'll never amount to nothing. Look with God. If God be for you, he's more than the world against you. So that seed tonight, praise God, we have ways that you can do that. It's been my pleasure to be with you tonight. Amen. Praise God. I'm not out of word, but I am out of time. Thank God for my mom and dad being on tonight. I appreciate them. Love them so much. I thank God for their support all the way from Charleston, South Carolina. My mom and my dad. I really love those two. They, man, they're just fantastic. And they raised me right. So I thank God for that. If I go wrong, it ain't their fault. Praise God. They did everything they could to raise me in the right and the ammunition of holiness. Somebody shout, yes, God. I want to say this to you tonight. Praise God. Will you be a blessing? Sow that $10 seed. Amen. Praise you. You can go to amen, PayPal. That's at PayPal at HGTPraise at gmail.com. They will put it up on the screen for me. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Will you be my helper tonight? Praise God. Be our service. It's our pleasure to serve. Amen. That's amen. PayPal at HGT. Amen. At gmail.com. Also, praise God, you can go to, amen, to Cash App. That's the Cash App. The dollar sign. Amen. Higher ground temple. No spaces. All lowercase. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Would you help a brother out tonight? Amen. That's praise God. Amen. Let's give. Amen. Praise God. And be a blessing. Praise God. Amen. And we will be able to help. We've sowed so many seeds in the past all this week. Been sowing seed everywhere we went. Been dropping seeds on different people. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that ain't nothing the gospel truth. Praise God. Even praise God. People that we got a chance to render to and give the gospel to and give, put a seed in their hand. Praise God. Nothing. Amen. If you hold your hand tight, nothing can get in and nothing can get out. Somebody shout, yes, God. Amen. A stingy person will always be broke. Somebody shout, yes, God. But somebody shout, I'm so glad that you all are not that way. Praise God. Amen. That's the cash app. Dollar sign, higher ground is coming up right now. Thank you, Minister J. Praise God, amen. Thank God it's coming up right now. Also, praise God, you can send it to good old United States Post Office. Just drop you. Those who have not been tithing with us and you're a part of the higher ground temple family, we need you to do just that, amen. Praise God, amen. This is your church. This is your church family. This is, amen. We're part of your house. Praise God, you're a part of this house. Amen. We're better together. Sow that seed. Sow that seed tonight. Praise God. $10, praise God. Can you trust God with 10 and God can give you back a thousand. Praise God. He may even give you more. But trust God with it. Praise God. Thank God for you tonight. Amen. We appreciate all of you tonight. Praise God. Tomorrow morning, we'll be on our prayer line. That's at 7.30 a.m. That's the Bishop Prayer Conference call. Praise God. Join us tomorrow morning at 7.30. If you come on after 7.30, don't introduce yourself. Just put your phones on mute. If you be so kind and so sweet. Amen. Praise God. Put your phones on mute because the prayer leader will already start at 7.30. Praise God. And we're on from 7.30. To 7.45, I give out two uh, uh, amen nuggets, praise God, and we're gone. Praise God to start our day. What a great day, way to start your day in prayer with HGT. Can you say amen? We thank God for you tonight. Praise God. Remember, praise God, we are better together. Amen. Praise God. We thank God. Remember, we are open. This coming Sunday, we'll be closing out, amen, our, amen, 18th year pastoral anniversary. Amen. This is also Pastors Appreciation Month. Any pastor, any prophet, any evangelist, any person who's been an encouragement to you, you make sure you tell somebody, praise God, and let them know you appreciate them and you love them. Is that all right? Praise God. So we thank God for you tonight. Praise God. I'm not out of word, but I am out of time. Thank God for all you tonight. We love you. As we do each night, we kiss you. Praise God. We put our hands on our shoulders. Amen. Be healed. Be delivered and be set free. It's my prayer for you tonight. Be healed. Be delivered and be set free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. God has a plan and a miracle with your name on it. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And we'll be back tomorrow night. Remember that we are better together. Tomorrow night, amen, for part three. Amen. Praise God. I mean, I got a place at the table. Thank God for you tonight. Continue to pray for us. You can hit replay for somebody who's not that. Amen. Remember, we are better together. Amen. You and your family always have an opportunity to be grateful. Thank God for you tonight. We love you. Coming up on your screen now, praise God, the, the access line, the prayer line, and the access code. Amen. That you can be with us. Amen. Share that out. Amen. We're looking for a lot more people to pray. 
Amen. We This is praying time. There's only 13 more days before we vote. I urge you to vote. Vote, 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 vote. If you have not voted yet, you got to vote. Register to vote. You got to vote. Vote. So we thank God for you tonight. We love you. Lady Baron sends her love to all of you. We appreciate you. Praise God. Man, something good is getting ready to happen to you. Praise God. Just get prepared for it and make sure you get yourself prepared because the table is set and the feast of the Lord is going on. Have a good night rest. It's my prayer for you. We love you. God bless everyone and have a good night rest. Love you. Good night. <laughs>